All right, so this uh, prompt doesn't have an official name. Uh, it's a, more of an art challenge, I guess you could call it. Um, so I'm just going to give it a fancy art challenge name. Okay. I'm going to call it the Malicious Compliance Challenge. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Are you sure? I think it'd be a lot of fun. Malicious? Yeah. Have you not heard of Malicious Compliance? No, it's just the idea that like you're kind of screwing someone over while doing exactly what they want you to do. It's kind of finding the loophole in what they're asking you to do and okay. and ruining it. It's kind of like a monkey's paw situation where you're the evil genie granting All the right, wish. I'm, and, I'm into it now. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm going to maliciously comply to everything you say. Exactly. So my thought is, OK, we can just take a really popular character that we are thinking of. Mm hmm. And we describe the features without describe without telling you who the character is. We just describe each feature and say, please draw this type of face, this type of eye, this type of nose, this type of body. And then you do your best to try to ruin it and vice versa. <laughs> that won't be hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how well this challenge will work out. I've got a very milquetoast challenge we can replace it with if, if it doesn't work out. OK, but let's see how it goes. OK, so let's start with the eyes. Can okay. you make them kind of just like pretty boy anime eyes? I can try. All right. I don't know if I'll succeed. All right. Pretty boy anime eyes. So like they're kind of wide, kind of pretty. And I guess as like the prompt to give her myself, I don't want to give you too many details. I just want to give a vague description of what I'm thinking of. That way it gives you plenty of opportunity to ruin it if you want. Darker. That does look very pretty boy. And then uh, the it was a pretty boy. The dark half. Give them some thick, gorgeous lashes. Ooh, pretty. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted so far. Thank you for being such a nice <laughs> genie. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. I'm a monkey's paw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll mess up the second eye. Okay. And it will totally be on purpose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pretty boy. It still has to be a pretty boy eye. Oh, it still has. What? How far how far can I push it? I mean, you could make it like a different type of pretty boy eye or give him too many pretty boy eyes. I never said how many eyes. That could be a pretty boy eye. <laughs> he got punched in that eye. Oh, okay. That's good. That's cool. Uh, that's good. A asymmetry, giving him like a, a Zuko look. Yeah. All right. I guess uh, the face is, um, let's, I'm trying to think of a, a, a very simple way to describe it. Let's go with... Uh, uh, just a strong jawline, good looking. How handsome. strong? Like out of one out of ten, how strong is this? I'd say like a a six or a seven. I'd say seven, yeah. Um, okay. Like not, not like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so when you asked me how much, you were just like disregarding that entirely. No, that's a seven. Oh, okay. So we just made up of individual sevens. Is that? What you're going for? <laughs> um that's kind of how it works okay that's fine all right um nose um uh, unremarkable nose i would say unremarkable all right <laughs> <laughs> perfect uh pillowy lips oh my gosh pillowy lips okay here we go <laughs> um. <laughs> mm, that's good that's the good stuff <laughs> <laughs> mm, you just fall asleep right on top of those yep you oh, can man. rest your head on that and never get up uh, <laughs> let's see um i'm gonna retackle the jawline you think oh, about yeah? how you want to describe <laughs> okay i'll think i'll think further about what i want to do there, that's more of a seven yeah that's good all right for the rest of the head i'm gonna say Sleek blonde hair under a unique hat. <laughs> okay. I will say the hat is pointed as well. Hat is pointed? Yes, it comes to a point. I'm so confused because I wanted to draw the hair going straight back, but the hat's just going to cover that up. I guess sleek isn't the best word. I should say, like, um, <laughs> I'm not good at describing hair, I'm realizing. I have that same exact problem. Every time I get my hair cut, I have no idea what to tell them. Like, how do you want it? Let's say Good. luscious blonde hair. How about that? Okay, luscious. Under a unique hat that comes to a point. <laughs> yeah, and thinking back on it, sleek is definitely not the word I should have used. <laughs> I, I realize I get kind of dumb while uh, 
while we do these drawings because I turn off my brain in a way. Yes, absolutely. I know exactly what you mean. It's like <laughs> part of your brain is like constantly like working on something else. Yeah. Uh, how inappropriate can I make this hat? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a. <laughs> That's a that's an interesting question. I I didn't know if I we should uh let's let's say not too inappropriate, but that I mean that that should be fine. That would be fine. Why? What do you think that is? That, uh, see, I can't I can't I couldn't tell you exactly what it is, so it's fine. Exactly, because it's not inappropriate. Yeah. Wh whoever suggested it could be inappropriate, not me. I don't think you did. <laughs> nobody nobody here thinks it's inappropriate. Oh, I'm gonna change what it is. <laughs> never, never mind the fan it's gonna be her she's perfect <laughs> <laughs> okay is the hat itself made out of the the foil wrapping thing yeah I'll, I'll put some is, <laughs> he's wearing a tinfoil hat we'll get like one consistent line where the crease comes in there we go yep, perfect <laughs> that does what read else pretty is well this character? I said luscious blonde hair oh yeah yeah I forgot <laughs> Look at him. He's perfect. I know you didn't say well, what how what kind of ears do they have? Hmm. I'd say I don't want to be too specific with my descriptions. So I'm going to say ears you would see uh from a fantasy race. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious, is this an actual like fantasy race ear that uh that I'm not familiar with? I mean, I'm not for sure exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> they kind of look like bad ears okay yeah i can see that perfect okay and last uh let's say just we'll, we'll try to keep it the body moving quickly i'd say torso is like um cut that kind of uh slim fit you know kind of musculature wearing old-fashioned clothes i guess would be the best way to describe it old fashioned clothes like can you give me a decade M medieval how about that okay hmm Oh, oh! I think I see what you're getting at, but I, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like the um. Oh man, I don't even know what that's called. Me either. <laughs> yeah, the, but the the ruffles around the neck, the emperor yeah. peel off from Dragon Ball look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, you said a slim fit. Uh, a bit of a swimmer's physique. Yeah. <laughs> buttons um the old fashioned so we'll give him like a vest under this one that's perfect <laughs> we need some slight pet definition there we go that is perfect what else he's got a uh, uh a weapon in his left hand <laughs> all right i'm going to resize him again <laughs> Okay, a weapon, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think of a way to be a monkey's paw right now. Yeah. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see it. Oh, I'm really excited. A weapon can mean, like, anything. More frills? Good. <laughs> I'm curious, have you guessed what this character is? Uh, I have one guess, but I'm not for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, uh... What? Oh. <laughs> Is that, how they hold is, that though. is that a feather pin? <laughs> the pin is mightier than the sword. <laughs> uh, the perfect weapon is words. <laughs> hey, maybe they're a bard. Exactly. I mean, with this getup, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I think the feather looks. The feather would only go to one side. Yeah. Oh, timer went off. We got the Yay! luck of the draw. How do you hold a pen? I don't know I'm how doing you hold it right a pen. in front of my face right now, and I can't draw it. Do you think it. we as artists know what pens look like when they're in the hands? <laughs> I think we should. All right, but the the wheel, the timer for the wheel has gone off. We need to do luck. Okay, all right, I'll stop wondering about hands. All right, we spin the wheel and make this drawing even uh, better. Okay, here we go. Spinning. What do we get? 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 We got duplicated feature. Ooh. A favorite of our wheel. That is a fun one. All right. You may keep continuing going on with your drawing. Okay. Oh, what's what's this now? You've changed it. It doesn't look like a feather anymore. I'm scared. 
Oh, is it, okay. You you've changed it to a grenade. Is that what it is? You just made it a grenade? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with the feather pen? A grenade is much easier to hold the hand. I. It's true. <laughs> you got me there. Just draw some circles. <laughs> All right, but what are you going to duplicate now? I think that should be obvious. Oh, a second grenade? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, my next request of you will make this very interesting then. But please continue with what you're doing. <laughs> What's the bottom of the grenade look like? Uh, that's good. That works. All right. You ready for uh, another little feature? Mm-hmm. On his right, he he wields a means of defense. <laughs> Which I guess if you really want to cop out, you could say the, de the best defense is a good offense, and that's what the grenade's for. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to. I mean, I, I suppose. <clears throat> no, I'm not. I'm not copping out. Okay. I'm not doing that. All right. What you got then? Here's what's gonna happen. He's going to uh, have a shoulder girdle right there. Oh, nice. It's like screwed into his shoulder. <laughs> so he is on having it. All right, so he's kind of the almost cyborgian then. Yeah, and uh, perfect. Oh, what's this? Antenna? Nope. Although being well informed is also a good defense. <laughs> what is? I'm not. Is this some like robot arm attachment? Kind of. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's a robot. It's a robot arm with a shield attachment. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. <laughs> he throws the grenade and then he shields himself from the blast. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the eagle. Good. All right. Oh, okay. Um. So based on that logo, it sounds like you already know. Oh, do what? I know? Do you not know? No, I just did that because I like the Helian shield. So this is a Zelda character, huh? <laughs> well, either way, you have to be malicious. So um, finally, for the lower part of the body, just uh, you can cut it off whenever. Um, I will say for his legs, he wears a um, it, it's not traditionally manly. OK, for the lower legs. How about that? I mean, I guess we can just keep up with the trend. Go for it. <laughs> a tutu uh looking thing yep perfect really what else do you need when you're adventuring always bring a tutu <laughs> there's so many uses for it exactly i mean honestly it must be great for mobility otherwise why would uh why would like ballerinas use it you know <laughs> why would they indeed <laughs> just purely for the mobility uh benefits <laughs> that's got to be it right i can't think of any other reason you can use it to scare away predators. Exactly. Like if you shake your butt really hard while wearing one, they'll they get confused. And most confused animals don't feel like attacking anymore. Yeah, like cougars and stuff, they'll make you, it'll make you look larger than you are, so they'll get scared. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Okay. Does that does this make this one complete? Yeah, I think you've designed uh the perfect uh adventuring game hero. <laughs> Wait, is this just Link? <laughs> it is Link. <laughs> all right this is the worst link ever that is a perfect link i mean you've done you i've described him perfectly and you've written and you've drawn everything exactly as i've described it i've never heard anybody say uh pillowy lips have you not seen skyward sword link uh i mean i never played skyward sword but i guess i have seen him and now that i'm thinking of what he looks like in my head you are absolutely right he has got those are some kissable lips biggest <laughs> some of the biggest lips i've ever seen anywhere ever yeah this was great um <laughs> i honestly had no idea when i drew that shield but this was like <laughs> oh so you said you had like an idea um when i yeah, asked i you. thought you were making me draw a clown from hunter x hunter <laughs> <laughs> oh that's that's really funny then <laughs> Or like a JoJo's character. Somebody with a pointy hat. Oh, that's good. <laughs>
Oh, man. That, that's really funny that you didn't know who it was. I, I thought it's for sure I would have given it away with a hat. Now I get to choose the character to exact my revenge. Yes, exactly. All right. The, um, the shape of this character's skull, I would describe as cherub. A cherubic face. Okay. Yeah. So not much I can really do without like, uh, make, really messing that up. So we'll get to the really good stuff later. <laughs> but I think that would be a good cherubic face. Yeah, that looks very um babyfied, chubby. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, draw the eyes the way you would draw. How to describe these? Lifeless. Ooh, lifeless but, eyes. But, but their right eye has no eyelids. But the right eye has no eyelids. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, when I think lifeless, okay, let's start with the right eye that won't have an eyelid. When I think lifeless, I think a skull. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have that <laughs> at empty sock. No eyelids there. Okay. So, uh, no eyelids. I fulfilled my re request, and now I can kind of just do whatever I want with the left eye, and I guess I'll just uh, go with the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. They, um, they have very wild manic hair, and they are kind of balding. Kind of balding. Yet wild manic hair. Yeah. Okay. The hair goes down to around their shoulders. Okay. So let's um have it bald at top and going completely wild down to the shoulder. <laughs> How's that? Perfect. You're spot on. I hope so. That's the goal of this drawing is to be perfect as possible. Yep. The uh <laughs> they have a very prominent brow. Okay. Let's uh adjust like the... a Neanderthal. Okay, very prominent brow. <laughs> How's that? Great. Acute nose. Acute nose. Okay. Let's um give it a nice cartoony puppy nose. That's pretty cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so you know how like, the Joker smiles are super wide and has a lot of teeth? Yeah. Do that, but make it super small. Okay. <laughs> 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 It's hard to see, but there are teeth in there. I drew the lines for him. <laughs> hey, that works really, really great. All right. Oh, timer went off. Oh, oh, here we go. All we right. We spin a wheel and we get a randomized feed thing that we have to do. That I have to do. Yeah, I don't have to do anything except enjoy it. All right, let's spin the wheel, all right? Here we go. Come on, give me something good. Give me something fun. Please, for the love of God, give me something fun. Fun. What? Add, Add a, a friend, friend for them. For them. <laughs> Should I describe the friend to you, or do you want to go off on your own, like based on the information you have? Hmm. Give me a one sentence description of someone you would consider their friend, and I'll make a completely a complete character based on that one sentence. Okay. Two foot tall Uma Thurman. Wow, that is a description right there. <laughs> Am I allowed to look up an Uma Thurman reference? No, and I'll I'll go ahead and say specifically from that scene in Kill Bill when she's getting she's she's getting married. Uh, was I? Is that from part two? I've only seen part one. And now it's been years ago. Now, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, this is a whole separate matter that I will talk to you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yell at me off screen for a while. I know it. Yeah, that tends to happen. All right. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, you can look up a picture of Uma Thurman if you want. All right. I'm going to look up that specific scene. You All know right, what? I think her, I've uh... given you too much information. You're just going to draw a really tiny person in a wedding dress. Yeah, probably. So let's scratch that. Oh, okay, fine. What should I draw then? Okay, their friend is going to be a desert nomad. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what traditional like, desert wear is. I think like, okay, so I'm just going to have them have their friend be in like a hood with some like a scarf wrapped around their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I It's been so long since I've seen any media with the <laughs> desert stuff in it. You're using some nice shapes. I like it. <laughs> um, And for some reason, I'm thinking poncho. So I'm just going to lean into that. That really works. Nice belt and hands 
We'll just be at his side here. He's a very unremarkable friend. They also have a very futuristic weapon. Ooh, okay. I know that's a run-on sentence, but you know. No, nah, that's fine. Let's um have the poncho bunched up here as they're holding out their weapon, which will be a um let's go with a death ray. <laughs> That's a futuristic weapon, right? Yeah, we don't have those yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You want to get back to the original character? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, they have um, a one to three Frankenstein-esque scars. Okay. Um, let's put one right here, and let's put one half right here. Okay. That's that's perfectly in between one and three. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, they wear some farmer clothes. Farmer clothes. <laughs> I all right. Uh, let's um. <laughs> uh, do you have a general body shape I should go with? Uh, petite. Petite. Yes. So let's um. I mean, farmer clothes and petite body. Uh, I'm gonna go straight into the legs with this because it's um. I'm going with a uh, over uh, overalls. So if you have any suggestions for legs that I should add. Some really cute shoes. Ooh, okay. And I'll keep this like that. And uh, shoes, really cute. Let's see. What are cute shoes? <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not a shoe expert, but the high-end shoes are usually high heels. True, true. Oh, my God. These are so cute. <laughs> um, underneath their farmer clothes, they, they are dressed for cold weather. Oh, okay. Let's well, um, dress for cold weather. And they have a friend who's in desert wear. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just give them a really nice and puffy uh, coat under there. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of like some kind of like Michelin man kind of uh, kind of stuffing. This character is adorable. <laughs> uh, and then they are wielding a sharp edged weapon. One. Okay. Let me think. Okay, and they've just got in between their fingers here a toothpick. It's a, uh, razor one razor blade. blade. One razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you want to draw their other hand, I think you you've got this pretty much done. Yeah. This is um a, an awesome character. Yeah. Do you know who it is? I mean the the character I've drawn. I don't know if that necessarily relates to what you've wanted me to draw looks like uh that haunted doll chucky yeah it's chucky that is <laughs> oh no i got like really close well not really close but that's that's like the only character i can picture from my drawing let's not overstate how close you got <laughs> i'm gonna I look got up really a picture close. of him real quick <laughs> i mean you did though like you you got there the only like person that this could be would be like Eggman's son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was trying to think of other other farmer clothes I might go with, but there's not very many. Maybe I I went the wrong way with farmer clothes. <laughs> what was his friend? Friend the, the desert friend that you were saying? That's Mark Hamill. <laughs> <laughs> so when you think of Mark Hamill, you, you, you like the Luke Skywalker Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill himself is a known desert nomad. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he's got the only lightsaber in existence. Oh, fair enough. That's that's what I drew. I had it, to cover myself because I I was going for Bride of Chucky, but I it was going to be too boring. Yeah. <laughs> and Mark Hamill I, voiced Chucky, so. That, no, that's good. I I'm very glad I at the very least gave him a razor blade. Yeah, that's super like funny. <laughs> he just nicks people. <laughs> really close shave. Not very um not very intimidating when he can't it's very hard for him to ambulate in those heels. And then he has to get right up on you to get use that razor blade. <laughs> yeah, I mean I would be terrified still. Yeah. Unless he just like he demonstrates right away that he cannot walk in those heels to save his life. Yeah. Uh all right, I think we've done well. Yeah, that's, uh, that was fun. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you made it this far and like what you saw, feel free to let us know if you have any suggestions on how we could improve or even what we should draw next. Thanks. Take care.